What's going on, good people? This your boy, King Fitch. Don't forget to subscribe, like this video, and turn on the notification bells. I post pretty much every day, whether it's memes, videos of myself, basketball, sports content, within the rules of YouTube. Anyway, so growing up, I'm a big, big fan of wearing hats. I really started wearing hats like more around 2007 when I was about 16 years old. Growing up in Brooklyn, you know, you like to match your hats with the true religions, with the Levi's, even the Wranglers, whatever jeans, you got the Air Force Ones, it's part of the culture. But here, we have a Mitchell and Ness, it's a Golden State Warriors cap, you know, I don't hate the Warriors, you know, I love their colors, I'm a Lakers fan, I'm a Knicks fan, you know, my fiance's a Warriors fan, and that's fine. But they got some nice looking, nice some, some nice gear, in San Francisco is my third favorite most visited city of all time. I've been to 12 states in DC. I've never been outside the US, but I love San Francisco. I love the Bay Area. You know, you got Haywood and all those other places I haven't really touched in necessarily, but or touched down. But um no, no San Francisco always got love for that city, you know. Big I'm a big San Francisco Giants fan, second to my New York Yankees. It's all those who know me know I, I rep my teams. This is more just the style itself. But uh, so Philadelphia, Pennsylvania is another one of those cities. So it goes in this order. New York, Philly, San Francisco. Those are my top three most visited cities that I visit at least three or more times each. Me being from New York, obviously New York is number one. That's my home, my place of culture where I was born and raised 22 years. So I left. So Mitchell and Ness is a cap company. They've been around for decades. They make these special hats. And this is one of them, you know. They make snapbacks. They make traditional caps. I actually passed by one of their store locations just randomly about eight, nine years ago when I went to Philly one of my last times before I left the East Coast for good. And, you know, Mitchell and Ness is very popular. You can get them, whether it's Major League Baseball teams, uh, NBA, NHL, uh, even NFL. You know, list goes on. So we were shopping at, you see NBA merchandise. You got the SF. Because San Francisco, it's actually the Golden State Warriors, but they moved back to San Francisco. So, yeah. But uh, pretty much shopping today at... Marshalls, I found this for about $5.99, it's a $30 hat, traditionally snapbacks and caps are about $25 to $35 bucks or more, so this is a really good buy, so I just wanted to share that with y'all, you know, take a look at Marshalls, Ross, they be having some underrated items, you know, you're gonna pay about $50, about $30 for Nautica jackets and things like that, but compared to $129, $80, $90, still good deals, you got your little hand sanitizers. You got your little gift sets. They got little uh, Adidas Nike socks for those with the size 6 through 12. And you'll sometimes find some underrated caps and men's items as well. Great women's items too, with all due respect. So yeah, definitely uh, head to Marshall's. This is not a sponsored video, but I just wanted to share that, you know, just to add to my content. Yeah, but uh, we'll see what Steph Curry and the boys can do this year in the wild, wild west. He had 29 points tonight. You know, he did his thing for a preseason game. Unfortunately, the Sacramento Kings beat him on a buzzer beater by second-year player out of Virginia, Kyle Guy, who had that great moment in the national tournament. I believe it was last year. So, yeah, you know, Virginia won the title, I think, last year, 2019. The 2020 didn't have a tournament. So here we are. But yeah, appreciate y'all. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Have a blessed 